the Nippon Paint Cup ODI series Sri Lanka versus Zimbabwe it is game number 2 so no hesitation there Zimbabwe deciding to bat first and just take a look at the two teams well Joy Lord Gumbi wasn't in the playing 11 in the first ODI average a shade below 30 then his partner Kamunukamwe can be as explosive as we know he can be at times Swing straight away again from Madushanka. Inside edge and it's been taken again as it. Yes it has. Swinging into the right-hander again. He's gone for a big booming drive down the ground. Going for the booming drive. Probably going over the top. Not even trying to keep along the ground. And inside edge and Kusal Mendes. Easy as it gets. Let's see here. Craig Irving's record, very good average. Shot. That's a very, very good shot. He plays it well, Joel Gumbi. Oh, that's well played. He's done it again, Joel Gumbi, and it's going to run away for four. Picked away, and it'll go for four. The line is not right, neither is the length. Straight down the ground this time from Craig Irvin. It's overpitched again. On the up. Sign that this pitch is very good and the reins, they're not going to slow this outfield down. Good use of the feet, that's four. Lovely. Oh, he's timed that nicely. He's got it in the gap. Oh, brilliant. Gumbi. Oh, brilliant, it's four. Ball! Dikshana strikes back. Big gap between uh, bat and pad. And that was more than enough to, to, for Dikshana to strike. 30 well-made runs to him. It's 61 for two. Lanky left-hander. Strides out to the middle. That's uh, Milton Shumba. Oh, that turned. It definitely bounced. It beat the batter, beat the keeper as well. Look at how far he's gone down the pitch. Hit the bottom of the bat. Different players this time for a mid wicket fielder for a second thought. He's in the game. A bounce attempted by Dasun Shanaka. Clobbed away. That's gone fine. I'm afraid no. For a moment I thought he cut it off. It was played fine. A boundary for win. Off the call. Well, for a moment I think it hit the splice or the glove. But runs away for four. Swept away. There's another example. What a good player he is. In the air and gone. Oh, Shumba will be disappointed. Didn't I just put the mockers? Why well, could have uh, easily negotiated that delivery of the back foot if I, if he was looking to work the ball on the onside? A good contribution. 26. It's 1-1-4 one, one, for three. Sikander Raza recently appointed the E20I captain. 4,000 plus runs on average, above 36. In the air. God, Sikander Raza will be livid. It's a brave delivery. He was facing his third delivery and tried to hit the ball very hard. Actually wanted to clobber it. Sikander Raza walking back after contributing only one. Quick, quick, quick. It springs Ryan Burl to the crease. Average of 24. Best of 83. Oh, great bit of fielding, but 50 for Craig Irvin, the Zimbabwean captain. 20th 50 in One Day International Colours, his third against Sri Lanka. His fifth as captain, well appreciated in the dugout. Reverse sweep pulled out, it's a shot that he plays very well. Craig Irvin. Oh, he's hit that nicely. That goes all the way. 
That was brilliantly played by Craig Irving. Hammered for four. Hammered towards mid wicket. Even if that was a mid wicket, it would not have been a problem because you can see what the umpire is signaling. You can't let Sri Lanka's eighth bowler go for nothing. That's nicely controlled. The runs are flowing once again. Oh, that's good balling. Good balling from uh, the leg spinner. There was a shout and the umpire has responded positively to the bowler. But it's been reviewed. Pitching in line, impact in line. And wickets missing. Ravi, get you to reverse your decision to not out. Your on screen signal now. Good review, very good review. He was done by the dip. Fine glance, that will run away to the boundary. In the air, and what a take. What a catch. Take another look. Oh, what a catch. What a catch. That will rank as one of the best. Big Irving for 82. Zimbabwe 182 for 5. Right, Clive Madande is the new batter. Best of 74. Pretty young, just 23 years, 10 innings. It's time. Done him from round the wicket. Dushmata Shamira creating that angle. 2 and 2 for him. It's the angle and rushed him, hit the top of the off stump. Almost cut in half. Ryan Burl, but a massive wicket again. Ryan Burl goes for 31. Zimbabwe 190 for 6. Faraz Akram, don't forget, made his debut in that last game. Left touch. No chance for the fielder. Dive and win. That's close. That is close. Give it. Had to be. But Dande never really read him. Now they're going to have a word. They're thinking, yes, he's reviewed it. Pitching in line, impact in line. And wickets hitting. Ravi, you can still have your original decision of out. You're on screen. Signal now. The out for 14. Zimbabwe at the end of 42 are 202 for 7. Oh yes, that's number 8. Over the wicket, pitching in line, just straightening. That has smashed into that pad in front of the middle stump. Not a difficult decision at all. And Zimbabwe lose their 8. For us, Akram goes for just 1. 202 for 8. Looking at the Zimbabwean spinners, you don't really have... Now, is this out? Is this out? He's come down, he's been sent back. Just play it through really slowly. Thank you. Yeah, back to shot of his ground. I've made my decision for the big screen. He just deflected it. He goes for naught. 202 for nine. Oh, could it be another one for Van der Say? Samara Vikrama. Oh, misjudged it in the end. It's gone for four as well. Bold. Four wickets for my Steak Shana. Bold that brilliantly. Tossed that up. Wrong and back of the hand. Everything right about it. The speed, the trajectory. Fifth, fourth week, four wicket haul for Mahish Tikshana. Won the toss, wanted to bat first Zimbabwe. Innings didn't start off well once again. Kamunu Kame dismissed after just facing one delivery. Gumbi looked good for his 30. The captain Craig Irvin dismissed by an outstanding catch by Samura Wickrama at backward point. He got 82 and 102 balls, 26 from the young Shumba and then 31 and 37 for Ryan Burl. But Zimbabwe could only muster 208. By the target, not frightening. 209 in 50 overs with just over four runs and over. We've already got the two openers out there, Vishka Fernando and Kusal Mendes. His partner Kusal Mendes runs machine. 
captain of Sri Lanka team. Richard Ingarawa bowled very impressively in that last game. List of 4 for 43. Let's play indeed. We are all set and ready. Here is the first ball. Navishka Fernando getting a fairly wide delivery on a length. Is more positive now. This is a quality stroke to get off the mark. This will help him ease his nerves. Oh, that was a good delivery. Good delivery. Everybody's thinking there was inside edge. But the umpire doesn't. It's been referred. Yeah, can we just freeze it there? There's a clear spike as the ball's next to the bat. Murray, get you to reverse your decision to out. Your on-screen signal now. It's a fairly thick edge. Out for four. Four for one. Good numbers for Satira Samara Vikrama. Good strike rate as well. Oh, lucky. But he's off the mark. Gets an edge, flies over second slip. Blessing Muzrabani is going to share the new ball. Oh! Goodness gracious! Well, it's called a no ball. What would you call it? What would you call it? Slow delivery. Kusal Mendes, has he got all? One bounce for four. Taken and it's that man again and Garawa. But take a look at this. Look how wide it is. And he flashed hard. Great to the captain at second slip. Amra Vikrama goes this time for four. Sri Lanka 16 for two. Massive test for Janit Leonage here. On in his second game. That time on the pads. And Kosal Mendes finally breaks the shackles with the boundary. Driven. And that will make him feel good because he gets a boundary through extra cover. Short delivery. Worked around nicely. Should get another boundary. This is beautifully played by Janit Rinage. Slightly short by Muzar Bani. Rinage got top of it. And that will give a lot of confidence. 13 gone, 49 for two. Required run rate of 4.30, and the rain is steadying down. This is uh, not a good sight for anybody. Zimbabwe score of 208 are 49 for two after 13 overs. Oh, here's an opportunity. Blessing Muzrabani. Gets there but puts it down and what a start that would have been. Had plenty of time to camp underneath that one. Got there. Go on, they get that wicket. Ryan Bull holds on to one that was flying in his direction. That's away from the fielder. But good effort by Burl. A backward point, 17 from 28 deliveries. Centurion from a couple of days ago, they've left him. A lot of work to do here today as well. Edge gone! Gets another in Garawa. Sri Lankan innings has been removed, have been removed by the left armor. That's great going and he's gone for naught. 53 for four. Sahana Rachige is the new batter and he's at the non-striker's end. Nicely, nicely done. Timing good. Should run away to the boundary. That's a pedal, that's a fine pedal. Working the angle. Arachige will get an important boundary. That 
looked plump. That definitely looked plump. He's referred it. Pitching outside off, impacting line. And wickets hitting. Marie, Big you can steal your original decision of out. You're on screen, signal now. Dahana Ratsike goes for 21. Sri Lanka 90 now for 5. Average in the low 20s, 200s and 450s. Good strike rate though. Gets that past. Using the pace, Leonage gets a boundary. A boundary after a long time off his bat. He's got to 50. Been a good knock. It's been slow, but it's been hard work. Made to work really, really hard, and he's been up to it. But that's not where it ends. It just begins now. Gets it fast, four more. He's got Boris Smith just like that, outside edge, and this time, as we spoke, the experience of Dasun Shanaka had to be come to the fore. Back of the hand, that was a leg break, but the length just wasn't there. Dasun Shanaka is out for seven, 112 for six. Sri Lanka in big trouble. You see my station out there. Hammered. Slightly short. It's gone all the way. What a hit. What a brilliant shot from Lien again. Full toss. No one at mid wicket. Wouldn't matter if there was because Lien again has got a good piece of that. Gets a full toss and he gets a boundary. That's a hit behind point. Might go to the boundary, does. Maya sneaks and it goes. And the first ever five wicket haul for Ingarava and he thoroughly deserved it. Very good catch. Very, very good catch. Sticks and goes for 18. Sri Lanka now 168 for 7. Oh dear, oh dear. Lienege goes. He tries to go over the top. A decent back on the delivery. It's almost a splice of the bat. Lienege gone for 95. Sri Lanka in trouble. 172 for 8. No stop. Has he got enough? Oh, gets underneath the hands of Burl. Wanderse! Helps it over short fine leg, brings up the 200. He took the risk and it's come off. Hammered through the covers, that's four more. The range helping that ball to skid along faster. Down the ground, it's four again. Sri Lanka win, Tamira just hits through the line and calms the nerves in the Sri Lankan dugout and the fans in the stands. It's been a great game, ebbed and flowed, but Zimbabwe have made that 208 that they made feel like 308. 208 is what Zimbabwe made on the back of Craig Irving's 82, four wickets stationer. Reminder that Zimbabwe won the toss. Sri Lanka struggled half path. They get there. Danit Lienege made in half century for 95. But the heroes at the end were Van Se and Chamira. Really enjoyed watching Richard Ngarava pick up his first fiver in ODI cricket. A two-wicket win for Sri Lanka. They lead the series 1-0. Subscribe now to enjoy sports from across the world.